Am I the only one that didn't know the Quran talked about planetary orbits 1400 years ago? For centuries, people believed the Earth was fixed with the sun, moon and planets revolving around it. But 1400 years ago, the Quran had a different perspective. In Quran 39, 5, it says, Allah created the heavens and the earth in truth. He overlaps the night over the day and overlaps the day over the night and enslaved the sun and the moon, all move to a pre-recorded destiny. Notice the words all move. It's referring to more than just the sun and moon. It's also talking about the earth. In Arabic grammar, the word used is plural, not binary. So all three, the sun, moon and earth, are moving in designated paths. Mind-blowing, right? And in Quran 86, 11, it mentions, and the sky that return. This aligns with modern science, which tells us that planets return to the same locations in their orbits. How could an illiterate man 1400 years ago have known this? Food for thought.